Welcome to Absolute Facts. You've likely observed numerous plants and their beautiful flowers, many of which thrive on water. However, there are over 800 known species of plants that rely on animals for their growth. So, in today's video, I'll be introducing you to the top 10 most dangerous plants that eat animals. So, let's dive into the world of carnivorous plants. Stay tuned and let's get started. Number 10. The Venus Flytrap Venus flytrap is a captivating carnivorous plant native to the wetlands of North and South Carolina. Its most distinctive feature is its modified leaves that resemble open jaws, armed with sensitive trigger hairs. This unique plant has an ingenious method of capturing its prey, primarily insects and spiders. The trigger hairs serve as a biological mechanism, detecting the movement of potential prey on the plant's surface. Upon contact, the trap snaps shut at remarkable speed and trapping the unsuspecting insect within its leafy confines. The Venus fly trap then secretes digestive enzymes, breaking down the captured prey into nutrients. Interestingly, the plant can distinguish between living organisms and non-living stimuli, ensuring energy-efficient hunting. Venus fly traps primarily thrive in nutrient poor soils, relying on their carnivorous nature to supplement their nutrient intake. In their native habitat, these fascinating plants are an essential part of the ecosystem contributing to insect population control. Number 9. Yellow Pitcher Plant The pitcher plant is a striking carnivorous plant native to the United States. The plant is called a pitcher plant because its leaves look like little trumpets or pitchers. These leaves are usually a bright yellow color. This interesting plant has evolved a specialized adaptation to attract, catch, and digest insects as a source of nutrients. The pitcher-shaped leaves contain a liquid that acts as a digestive enzyme, aiding in the breakdown of trapped prey. Insects, attracted by the plant's sweet nectar and vibrant colors, slip into the pitcher, unable to escape the downward-pointing hairs within. Number 8. Nepenthes raja. Nepenthes raja is an extraordinary carnivorous plant native to the rainforests of Borneo. This remarkable species is renowned for its colossal pitcher-like traps, which can reach up to 16 inches in height making it the largest pitcher plant in the world. With its unique adaptation, it primarily preys on insects, small rodents, and even birds. The pitcher structure acts as a deadly pitfall trap, enticing and suspecting prey with nectar and vivid coloration. When something gets inside, the slippery walls and downward pointing hairs stop it from getting out. Unlike many carnivorous plants, Nepenthes raja doesn't rely solely on passive traps. It features an active mechanism where the lid of the pitcher acts as a lid to protect the trap and also aids in prey capture. They live in the mossy forests on Mount Kinabalu and Mount Tambayukan in Malaysia. But, it's in trouble because people are cutting down its home and taking it away illegally. Number 7. Drosera pulchella. Drosera pulchella, also known as the pink sundew, is a fascinating yet deceptive carnivorous plant native to Australia. This dangerous beauty earns its name due to its stunning pinkish red hue, which contrasts with its deadly nature. They are equipped with tentacle-like structures covered in a sticky substance, and they attracts, traps, and consumes insects as its primary source of nutrients. They attract prey by releasing a sweet-smelling secretion from tentacle-like projections on the ends of the leaves. Once an unsuspecting insect lands on its leaves, it becomes entangled in the sticky goo, initiating the plant's digestive process. The pink sundew is well adapted to nutrient-poor environments, as it supplements its diet by luring and devouring insects. Despite its charming appearance, this plant is a cunning predator, showcasing nature's ability to balance beauty and danger. They live in wet areas like wetlands and heathlands. It's good at surviving in places where many other plants might find it hard to live. What makes it interesting is that it eats insects to get nutrients. Imagine it like sticky tentacles on its leaves that trap bugs. This helps the pink sundew stay healthy, especially in areas where the soil doesn't have many nutrients. Number 6. Large Floating Bladderwort the large floating bladderwort is an aquatic carnivorous plant known for its unique and highly efficient method of capturing prey. It is typically found in aquatic environments such as ponds, lakes, and slow-moving streams. It floats on the water's surface, with a network of branching stems and small, finely divided leaves. The large floating bladderwort features bladder-like structures with trapdoor entrances along its stems. These bladders create a partial vacuum by keeping their trapdoors open. When sensitive trigger hairs on the bladder's exterior are touched by aquatic organisms like water fleas or mosquito larvae, the trapdoor swiftly opens. The vacuum inside causes water, along with the unsuspecting prey, to rush in forcefully. This rapid influx is so strong that it sucks the prey inside the bladder, 
where digestion and nutrient absorption take place. This all occurs in less than a millisecond, more than 100 times quicker than a Venus flytrap. Its sheer size poses a threat to native plants and insects, because this invasive carnivorous plant tends to dominate extensive water bodies. Number 5. Cobra Lily The Cobra Lily, a member of the pitcher plant family, earns its name from its striking resemblance to the rearing head of a cobra. Adding to the snake imagery is a forked leaf, resembling a distinct tongue or fang. The cobra lily captures its prey using a combination of enticing features and deceptive tactics. Resembling the rearing head of a cobra, this carnivorous plant attracts unsuspecting insects through the production of nectar. The forked leaf, with its distinct tongue or fang-like quality, adds to the snake imagery and serves as a visually striking element. The plant employs translucent patches on the cap above a leaf tube, creating a false impression of an escape route for prey. The insect, lured by the nectar and deceived by the apparent route to safety, ends up inside the cobra lily's deadly trap. Once trapped, the downward pointing hairs and slippery surfaces within the tubular structure prevent the insect from escaping. Unlike some other carnivorous plants, the cobra lily takes a unique approach to digestion. Instead of relying on digestive enzymes, it produces bacteria. This bacterial action helps break down the captured prey, facilitating the absorption of essential nutrients by the plant. The combination of visual lure, deceptive features, and bacterial digestion makes the cobra lily a remarkable and crafty predator in the world of predatory plants. Number 4. Genlisia. Genlisia, commonly known as corkscrew plants, distinguishes itself among carnivorous flora with its unique prey capturing method. Native to nutrient poor soils, these plants grow in wet terrestrial to semi-aquatic environments distributed throughout Africa, Central, and South America. They feature modified underground leaves that form corkscrew-shaped structures filled with water, allowing them to adapt to their specific ecological niches. Unlike conventional carnivorous plants, Genlisia lacks sticky substances or pitfall traps. Instead, it employs specialized underground structures to capture and digest tiny aquatic invertebrates. The leaves of Genlisia have small openings at the top, allowing water to enter the tube. Aquatic organisms, such as protozoa and small invertebrates, are attracted to the tubular structure and inadvertently enter the trap while exploring for food. Unlike traditional carnivorous plants that might have a mechanism to engulf or trap prey, Genlisia does not physically swallow its prey. Instead, it relies on the secreted digestive enzymes to break down the captured organisms directly within the corkscrew leaves. Number 3. Trifiophyllum peltatum. Trifiophyllum peltatum is a potential contender for the title of the world's largest carnivorous plant boasts a remarkable stature with a long stem that can reach up to 15 meters in length and 10 centimeters in thickness. This exceptionally rare species, native to tropical West Africa, captivates with its peculiar features. Interestingly, its carnivorous nature was only discovered 50 years after its initial identification. Trifiophyllum peltatum employs a unique method to capture its prey, particularly during the pre-flowering stage of its life cycle. The plant produces tendril-like leaves with a sticky surface, this sticky coating serves as an effective trap for insects in its native habitat of tropical West Africa. The tendril-like leaves, when unfurled, create a tempting surface that unsuspecting insects may land on. Once an insect makes contact with the sticky surface, it becomes trapped. The adhesive properties of the leaf surface prevent the insect from escaping. Subsequently, the plant absorbs nutrients from the captured prey, supplementing its diet in nutrient-poor environments. It's noteworthy that this carnivorous behavior is specific to the pre-flowering stage of Trifiophyllum peltatum. After the flowering stage, the plant undergoes a significant transformation, transitioning into a non-carnivorous climbing vine-like form. This dual nature, with both carnivorous and non-carnivorous stages, adds to the plant's intrigue and sets it apart as a unique specimen in the world of botanical wonder. Number 2. Albany Pitcher Plant the Albany pitcher plant is a fascinating carnivorous plant native to southwestern Australia. Is known for its distinct appearance and predatory behavior, the Albany pitcher plant has evolved a unique strategy to capture and consume small insects. The plant features distinctive, pitcher-shaped leaves that act as pitfall traps. Each pitcher is characterized by a lid that helps protect the fluid-filled cavity within. These pitcher-shaped leaves leaves attract insects for coloration, scent, and nectar secretions. The slippery rim and downward pointing hairs prevent escape once insects enter. The plant's digestive fluid contains enzymes for breaking down prey, supplementing its nutrient intake. This carnivorous behavior is an adaptation to the nutrient poor conditions in its habitat. 
While not currently threatened, the Albany Pitcher Plant underscores the importance of preserving its unique ecosystem. Number 1. Trigger Plant The Trigger Plant is a fascinating carnivorous plant renowned for its unique mechanism of capturing and consuming insects. It is an Australian endemic found from Queensland to South Australia and Tasmania. The trigger plant thrives in a variety of habitats, ranging from grassy plains and open heaths to rocky slopes, sand plains, forests, and the edges of creeks and water holes. The trigger plant boasts a spike-like flower head resembling an archer's bow, featuring a sensitive trigger hair that acts as a sensor. When an insect is lured by the plant's nectar and lands on the flower, the trigger hair is activated. This prompts a swift movement of the flower head, bringing the sticky dip into direct contact with the unsuspecting insect, effectively securing it in place. Once captured, the trigger plant employs enzymes to break down the insect's exoskeleton and extract nutrients. This process allows the plant to absorb essential elements, compensating for the nutrient deficiency in the surrounding soil, 